Okay, so let, let's continue. After we talk about uh, powder, talked about how to make them, synthesize them, how to characterize them, and then how to get them uniformly suspended in a slurry, uh, so-called colloidal suspension. Let's talk about the green body formation, which is the step, important step before ceramic sintering before the powders are bonded together by heat treatment at a temperature below its melting temperature. Okay, green body formation, the powder f forming a sh body, a shape, which before firing, people call it a green body. Okay, so general requirement for green body formation. Generally, what do you want you are pre-firing ceramic body? Uh, typically, you want not surprisingly, homogeneous packing of particles. Very natural, very simple, right? I, you want uniform, you want homogeneous, severe variation. On the other hand, so-called severe variation in packing, powder packing, will lead to heterogeneity in final product. And quite often, bad properties, not as good properties, mechanical, thermal, or electrical, okay? Homogeneous packing, we want particles to kind of more or less pack like this. This is a probably extreme order, but uh, more or less uniform. On the other hand, this would be a highly so-called uh, heterogeneous, not uniform. Locally, we have pores, Okay, and if we are talking about mechanical property, local here, I would have poor mechanical properties. <coughs> Make sense? And if that's going to crack, where would the crack initiate first? Definitely in some place like this. Okay, that's why homogeneous packing is very, very important. And uh, on the other hand, uh, we may have packing like this. We may have packing that is slightly looser. Closer packing, looser packing. Which one you want, pre typically? Closer. Before firing, before sintering, typically people want, as you said, closer packing or higher packing density. Higher packing density. The reason is also very, very obvious. In the end, we want the particle not only pack dense, but also bound together. Initially, if they are they are separate too far away, that doesn't help me. And which means I have to take a lot of heat to make the particles come in together, wasting my time and energy. Okay? And also the mechanical and other properties. So higher powder packing leads to higher density quite often after sintering, which is beneficial for mechanical and thermal properties. We have to say there are special scenarios. We have to say there are special scenarios that we may deviate away from these two general requirements, which is homogeneous and high packing density. For example, sometimes we want to introduce heterogeneity, sometimes. Remember I showed these micrographs to you earlier. We are talking about a bilayer. Bilayer. One layer is this YSZ, yttria stabilized the conia ceramics, which hopefully give us this dense electrolyte, the separate gas. The other layer is this nickel oxide, yttria stabilized the conia mixture. And for this electrode layer, we want them to have a lot of pores, porosity, and even we create large porosities. So in this case, do you see that we have so-called heterogeneity, non-uniform, make sense? And uh, we do this for a particular reason, because for one layer we want it to be dense to separate the gas for fuel cell application. The other layer we need them to be porous so that gas can easily come to while we have the reaction, okay? So similarly for functional coating electrode of this special multi-layer structure. Some other times we may also need to reduce the packing density. Like here in electrode, or porosity wanted for refractory bricks, we want them to be not completely dense, but have some closed porosities, or catalyst supports. 
right? Kali is the part I'm going to put my fine particles inside there. If it's completely dense, I have no location for my real catalyst to reside in. So for those applications, we actually want to reduce the packing density. But these are, as we mentioned, special scenarios, special consideration. Generally, generally, most cases you want high packing density and homogeneous packing. Okay, not exactly ordered, but random, but still homogeneous and high packing density.